Hello everyone, welcome to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph, and it is really early morning today. It's uh, half six in the morning and as you can see, sun's not even out properly yet. It's pretty nippy. Now, we've had really nice weather all week. It's been about 26, 27 degrees and it's been an absolute scorcher all week, which means yes, I've had the keys to the new house and I've been cracking on with it, renovating. And the garden, well, it was an absolute eyesore when I got it, overgrown. Worst of my trees actually, and it's coming along perfectly. Now I'm not gonna show it you in this video because unfortunately I've just got far too much work to do in that garden and I need to get this video out. So I've got a video out for you today. And yes, I'm filming it on the same day it's going live because I've got so much work to do. But we're gonna be taking a look at my Chinese elm that we did all that wiring on and we got it in a cascade. So is this one here. We fed it a lot of fertilizer over the last few weeks and now that wire is starting to bite in, so we've got to get that wire off. I think I've timed it right, at least. Maybe a little bit too long, but pretty much right time. It's biting in and it's now time to get it off. It should, all being well, because it's bitten in and it's grown that much, it should stay in position. And it's got quite a lot of growth on it. So let's get you on, turn around on the bench and let's start snipping off this wire. And hopefully we can not snip it all the way off. We can unturn it a little bit and then snip where we can. So let's get into this one. Let's not make it too long because I've got to get back to that house and start working. Otherwise my, wo my woman, my missus, is gonna start shouting at me and I don't want that. <laughs> so let's crack on with this video. Before we get into trimming and getting the wire off, I'm just gonna show you my setup here. I've got a little stool, obviously spins. So I've got it set up on this because obviously this is a cascade and it's gonna cascade from the base. And as you can see, it comes down and you can see the growth that we've had on, on this since we've had it last on the channel. So we've got plenty of growth here. And uh, I just wanted to show you just how much it is actually bitten in. So if I get you in right close here, I've probably misjudged it by quite a bit, but this is obviously how much the tree has put growth on, just on the trunk alone. Now that is the majority of the damage I've got on this one. Now, I'm not too concerned because obviously Chinese elms grow so fast that that will just disappear quite quickly as soon as I get off um, all this wire. But you can see all the growth that we've got on here. It's really, really healthy now. So if I give you a bit more of a spin, just move it over to this side. You can see exactly just how much growth we've got. So we just need to give this a little trim back. Uh, we need to start by getting these, these wires off. Um, the one major thing that I have happened is this little branch here, unfortunately, has died off. Um, so I'll just end up snipping that one back. Um, hopefully, we will can try and regrow something back there. But overall, the tree is looking really, really healthy. And I'm pretty sure everything is set in position. Uh, it's still got a bit of flex in it, which most Chinese arms do. As you can see, even with this one here, it's not been wired. But yes, it's got flex. So I'm not going to rewire it again today. I'm just going to take it all off, trim everything back into place. Uh, any future branches that I'm going to keep. So if, if I kept this one, uh, it will need if I will need um, to wire if I kept it. Um, I will be doing that in a couple of weeks once I move. I just don't have the time today, I'm afraid. So it's going to be a quick, quick video. I'll see. Some of this growth just needs trimming back. Um, so nice and easy, removing the wire, show you how to do that and just show you how the tree is looking. So the tree has actually been on one of my other trees and the growth again, even with the roots, has come through the bottom and it is now starting because of the weight of it. It's just starting to lean as you can see. So we're going to need to put some sort of stone on it just to counterbalance. Eventually anyway in there. So let's put you on the tripod, get your setup ready to go so you can watch this. I'm going to start here with this wire. So hopefully I'm going to be able to come in. Snip. I have really sore hands from all the decorating we're doing at the minute. Well, it's not even decorating at the moment. It's just completely stripping the house. Kitchen's gone out and everything. So took that first part out now if i can just manage to 
uncoil this. So if I can just spin it around this way so I can actually have a look. Okay. I don't really want to get in your camera eye line, but I think I'm going to have to just a moment. Just to grab hold of this here and twist it back out. There we go. Okay. So, all I'm doing is I'm just going to hold on to the top here. And I'm going to bend my cable, my wire. Just out. Now, as I'm doing this, you'll see how much this has actually dug in. Just look at it there. If I bring the tree in closer, you can see it. Just look at that. Now, as I say, the Chinese elms, they grow so fast, so quick, that this shouldn't be too much of an issue for it. I'll just dissipate really really fast so let's continue unraveling this again trying not to damage the tree any more than it already has uh, I know my hands gonna be in and out of the camera just for this first little part so what I'll do is I'll try and unravel this a little bit and then I'll come back so I'm not continually doing this in your way so I've changed the camera angle so you can actually see me uncoil this wire now a little bit. And as you can see, I'm trying my damnest not to damage the tree. Now let's try to use a pair of snips just to maneuver it. There we go. Uh, some people are probably asking the question, why don't I just snip it bit by bit? Well, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. And my hands are really sore. I've actually got massive blister just here from all the work we've been doing in the house. So the more I do this, the more damage I'm doing to myself. So I'm trying not to... Do that purely selfish so let's grab all of the tree and twist this off so you can see as we're doing it we're keeping hold of the tree at the same time we don't want this twisting out of shape So there we go, just look at the damage that's done. And once again, I'm not worried about it at all. So I continue unwinding that. Actually, I'm not gonna be able to. So if you see here, I've coiled all this bit around it. So, as I said, this branch here died off. I'm just going to snip it off. Okay. Now let's start removing this green wire. So this one here goes up and it is preventing me from going any further with this green one. So I'm just going to snip what I can off. I'll move up onto this one. Start taking this one off. And same again, we're being prevented to go any further. The branches are holding in position. And I tell you what, I'm gonna remove the rest of the wire so you don't have to watch all this boring section and then we'll come right back.
all the cables come off and then just look how good this is looking now so everything is set i must admit this part here does need bringing back into place probably here i'd say so it comes up to here so it probably does need another rewire but what i will do is i'm going to leave that off for a couple of weeks just so we're settled into the new house and then i'll rewire it up a little bit so it comes up more not necessarily this one but the whole whole tree comes up a little bit rather than just being completely down because it looks a little bit more like a vine but the, the overall structure is there so it, as i say it just needs bringing up more like this not like that so just up a little bit just to hold its structure and we just need to trim it back in this side where that branch died off is a bit bare so i could either bring this across which not 100% keen on bringing a branch across uh, we could keep this one bring that over but hopefully i've got one if you see it just in there i've got this one growing just here just there so that'll grow in and hopefully i'll develop something back here where we cut it out cut it off here hopefully we'll get some here so this one just needs cutting back now as you can see if i just bring you in you can see all the the bites in in pretty pretty sizable but generally it's going in the right direction so we've just got to trim this bad boy back it's looking good though right let's get you back on just here so this is going to be a, my what i suppose you call a leader um just here so just here behind it i'm going to be removing this one because i've got a branch just right next to it and it's in the crevice of the branch here so the branch is here so i don't want it and i'm also going to just come up and neaten up the stump on the back of it so this will be the new leader as I don't know i guess you call it a leader for a cascade i'm not sure that's what you do call it and then i've got this little branch here that's sticking up off the branch so while we're here and you can see it i'm just going to take it out make it neat and then just through here you can see i've got a branch that goes right across that is coming from the branch that's behind it i'm just going to come in and take that off because it's right at the back and it's too far well too close to the beginning so if we nip that away I can also take this one out here as well that you can just about see so that's starting off in the right direction now if i spin you a little bit you'll see i've also got this branch here so this one needs coming off completely as well now the wind is picking up so if there's any wind noise i do apologize folks there we go i've got a branch that comes across as well it goes from here so let's take this out we are due rain today you wouldn't believe we've had 26 all the way up to 28 degrees as i say all week this is the one day of the week it is supposed to rain so let's get this video in quickly and get back to the house um looking at it we've got this one i'm just going to bring it back into shape because i don't know what we're going to be doing with it so let's snip there and let's also snip back to that one we've got a stub on the end let's just clean it off I think I need to sharpen my snips. You can see just here, it's going upwards. I'm gonna take that one off. I don't wanna go it up, just out or to the side. Oh, so, so far, nice and easy. Looking at the tree from the other side, um, you can now see that this one that we did trim off just pokes up a little bit and then comes out. So we're gonna keep that. You can see I've got this branch it sticks right up from the, the side branch so let's take that off we don't want anything going up and we've got another one here as well now as i mentioned the rain it's starting to come down now so let's make this one a little bit quicker let's come in take that one off here and we're going to come in take that one off here i'm going to cut back this one just here to a, a shoot well a leaf just here and it should shoot this way nice and easy got one just at the back don't want that one it's going in the wrong direction i want everything flowing this way because it is cascading 
and we've got this one here I'm just going to come and cut back just there so when we do wire it up I can twist this branch just a little bit and it'll give us the right direction that we want in fact I'm probably going to nip that back just a little bit more as well This branch could ultimately come off. So I've got this one here. I'll leave it for the time being. Now I'm gonna get rid of this one completely. I like this one more. There we go. Yeah, I like that one more. So I've got this branch here. Now if I swing it around this way a little bit and then just oh I'm not my camera. You can see it comes out pretty straight. And I'm just gonna come and nip it back just there, nice and tight, and then this one comes flowing. I'm gonna have it flowing this way to here and here. Nice and tight, keeping everything compact, and I've just noticed I've got a branch starting to develop just in there so i need to remove that one you notice i've not touched this side yet we'll come back to that everything over here is coming nicely let's just give it a trim to there and then i've got this branch that is going down if i do rewire upwards like that means these ones could become into play so let's just bring that back so as you can see down there it's going to look something that like this so this one growing upwards has to come out and let's just cut them back as well like that looking lovely which means I probably don't want that one Okay, let's move the tree around the other side. So these branches, I've got them growing down. It's not to say I don't like them, but this one here needs to be removed. And then this one just down here, I'll take it back to this. And then I'll come and just snip that one back. Just here. And we will take this one back here as well. So in the future, we could use them or not but the potential is there as i say we've got this open area we've got this one to grow in and we might possibly get something here as well got a little dead stub here i may as well just clear it off so overall that's the top section done let's move on towards the bottom right, i've set you up on this angle just because i can move it into the white background that will give you a, a little bit easier to see i think now as I say, we are going to be moving this on an angle just like this. So I'm going to try and set the tree back a little bit and I'm going to angle this just here like that. And I'm going to try and work. I'm going to try and work as if we've got this set up. So if it was set up like this, this branch here is coming in and interfering. So we need to take that out. So is this one here, let's remove that. This one is far too long, so I'm just gonna come back and make it a little bit shorter for the time being. This one's growing upwards, let's take it out. So all these decisions are doing, these are the nice easy ones. Got branch here as well, it's growing in the wrong direction. And this one, far too long. But first of all, not my camera. Let's take that one out. We'll cut it back just there. Same with this one, I'm just gonna come back. This one's growing upwards. So all these decisions are relatively easy decisions for me so far. Growing up, growing up, growing up, and growing up. Okay, 
Now, let's bring you in a little bit so you can see that. So there we go, this is where we're at so far. This one just at the back is growing upwards. Now, I'm not going to snip it off because I can wire that back down. But yeah, it's got a previous cut mark. It's just neating it up. This is in the curve. Let's take it out. It's died off. Now, as I said, this is too long. I don't want it growing this long. I just need to cut it back. So I think I'm going to cut it here and then leave it, you know, even in sight. So we'll just cut that section off there. And then I'm just going to trim back there. And bring this one back as well. As I said before, whoop, there goes the camera. As I said before, these are trimmers need trimming. Uh, these trimmers, these snips need a bit sharpening. Not very good. So if I bring you in there, you can see it's not the best of cuts there. There we go. In fact, I'm probably going to bring it further back. So let me just move the camera in a little bit so you can see. Let's bring this back up here. I'm just going to cut to this bud here just so it makes it that much even that much more even and then here I'm just going to bring this back as well so I'm just going to take it off okay I do like everything except this branch here so if i move you up it just doesn't look right so everything folds really nicely and then the one that doesn't flow is this here everything else is really nice so what i will do is i'm just going to go and take everything back to there so now you can see it just snip right back everything else that's in the curve let's take that out Everything's flowing really nicely. We need to get this developed as we lost the branch and then this one here as well. Just we just need to pop a bit of wire on, I think, to bring it back into shape. And this is one probably probably just needs to bring it down. But overall, yeah, this one here I'm talking about. This one just needs to bring it down. This one needs a bit of wire. But well, there we go, all the wires off, trimmed back up again, ready for another round of growth. But as you can see, stage two is ready to go. But it's set into shape and it's kept its shape. So the wiring has done its job. Let's go again for some more growth. It's going to get there. Really nice one. The Chinese Cascade and L. All the wire removed and it stayed in place. Check it out. It's best on my, on my black top. Stayed in place. So I did put a little bit more wire on, as I said, just here to give this one branch a little bit more movement. So as you can see, it's now looks like the rest of the branches giving it a nice little bit of movement and um, did give this branch a little bit more twist giving it the right way so this 
is now, or if, I, if I put it on a flat surface, this is, if I put it near me so you can see it because I'm black, flat top. Now that's what the tree is growing like. So I just need to eventually just move this up a little bit. But yeah, doing really well. All the wires off, you can now see the branch structure quite clearly. We just need this section to grow in properly. Obviously the branch died off, so once the section grows in, fills it out a little bit better if we have another branch. We've got the top, start developing just a nice little pad here, or fluff of baldness. I don't know what you actually call them, the apex pad. I don't know what it's actually called on a, on a cascade, I really need to do my research. I've never had one, I've never done one. Um, so I'm really enjoying this project. Um, so if you're liking this one, um, please do support the channel by hitting that thumbs up. The algorithm loves a good like and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we're growing this channel. We're doing really well now. Um, but getting that close to 1,000 subs. So we're on our way. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you again soon. Please do support the channel. Thanks everyone and I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.